Hi, I'm Ozzy Hull. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This video documents the steps that I had to take to configure and install Behringer CU1A USB two-channel audio interface for Eurorack. I'll also show the configuration changes in Windows 11 that I had to make to access both input channels. The CU1A is a USB audio interface for Eurorack with the following features. It comes in a 6HP Eurorack module. It has 48K Hertz converters. It uses a USB-C connector. It connects to both PC and Mac. It's powered from USB. It has 3.5 millimeter stereo I.O. It has a headphone out with volume. It also has switchable I.O. levels of minus 10 dB or plus 4 dB. Let's take a look at the front panel. We have our USB-C connector. There's a monitor on-off switch which is very handy. Headphone volume, 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone out. Separate input jacks for either left mono or right channels separate output jacks for either left or right channels. Of course there are no jacks nor controls for the USB I.O. but you can hear the USB in on the headphone output in addition to the front panel input signals. On the CU1A the only configurable parameter is level either minus 10 dB or plus 4 dB. Four switches on the back of the CU1A control these levels. There are separate switches for each of the two channels on both input and output. As you can see in this photo, the CU1A comes with all four switches in the down or low position. I tested the level on both input and output. On the Windows PC, I tested with both Audacity and Ableton Live 11. I found the up or high position for both input and output to be the best range for headphones, output to the Eurorack modules, and PC recording applications. There are no special drivers for this USB device. It is a class compliant USB device that connects seamlessly to Microsoft's operating system driver on Windows 10 and 11. Having said that, I initially was receiving input from only the first input channel of the CUNA. Here's what I did to configure the device to get both channels. So, we've connected our device with the USB cable. We've also connected a voice here so that we've got some input. And now let's go to settings. We go to sound. We can see our USB audio codec in the outputs. And that is the sound going back out to the device. We don't yet see our device under the input devices. So we're going to go down to all sound devices. And here we see a microphone that's a USB audio codec. We're going to go to its properties. First thing we're going to do is allow applications to use this. The second thing that we're going to do is change from one channel, 16-bit, 48K Hertz, to two channels, 16-bit, 48K Hertz. We're going to go back out. Go to sound. There's our USB audio codec speakers in the output. And we now see the USB audio codec microphone. Let's close this out. Next we'll go to Audacity. In Audacity, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences. We're going to choose Wasapi. For our playback device, we're going to choose Speakers USB Audio Codec. For our recording device, we're going to choose Microphone USB Audio Codec, and it will be stereo. And 
We're going to click OK, and that completes our interface setup. I'm going to add some triggers so that we'll have an audio program. And now let's record and see if we get anything. And now we see that we've got quite a hot signal going on here. We're going to reduce our input about 3 dB. So it's at 54. We're going to drop that to 50. And that's a little bit more comfortable. So now we have our CUNA working correctly as an audio input device to the computer. It will also work as an audio output device from the computer. So that concludes the installation and configuration of the CU1A USB audio interface for Eurorack. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and look for more examples of applications using this device to connect the audio from your Eurorack system to your PC and back. Thanks for watching.